Professor Wilson, chicken leg, this is part two. Okay, so one of the things we wanted to look at was um, this loose connective tissue has some interesting properties, and one of the things I noticed when I was running hot water on it to heat some up for our dogs is that the heat will alter the color and condition of the loose connective tissue. We just ran some water, and we can see that this loose connective tissue trapped water underneath it and air bubbles. That's why we're seeing some whiteness in here now. It looks like a jellyfish, kind of. We're going to pour some hot water. I don't know if this is hot enough, but we'll give it a try. And if it's hot enough, the collagen fibers start to show up. They'll turn white as the protein starts to denature a little bit. See, now you can see the white fibers in here that are starting to show up from the heat as that collagen starts to unwind a little bit. And instead of looking clear, it begins to take on that white color. Kind of the idea of how um, egg whites will turn white when they get heated as the protein, the albumin protein denatures in there. Um, this collagen protein will lose its integrity and begin to turn white and then it'll show up really well. When you run hot water on it continuously, which we're having difficulty doing right here, we're not at the sink, it, you'll actually see fibers kind of pop out in various directions running throughout there. So it's a fun thing to do under the faucet if you have a good nice hot tap water and run some tap water on there. It's an interesting experiment to do. Um, like we probably should have this boiling, but we'll see what happens if I pour, 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 pour. Ooh, 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 oh, there ooh, we ooh. Go. Yeah, there we go. Now we're beginning to see. We're steaming up your camera a little <laughs> bit. But now you can see the fibers start to pop out. There's some running this way. There's some running this way. And you can begin to see those collagen fibers more sticking out. So that's, that's when you cook, you're denaturing. Absolutely. So as we cook this chicken, if I wanted to continue to make the soup, I'd cover this with water, I'd boil it, and I would boil it until, as one of my students said, it smells good, but then I'd go test it and I would see that the connective tissues begin to deteriorate or denature, come apart, and the, the, the bones will fall apart, the tendons and ligaments will separate, and then the meat will start to fall off the bone because the material that was holding those tendons that were holding it to the bone will separate. And then um, the actual the cartilage at the end of the bone will dissolve into that soup. And you know you've made a really good chicken soup when, or a beef stock when you stick it in the refrigerator and the next day you take it out and it jiggles like jello. You have actually um, you've um, dissolved enough of that collagen out of and the chondroitin out of those joints to go into the soup stock and liquefy it mm -hmm. so that you're getting those extra nutrients, very protein fortified, excellent for your health. When they ask you how you want your steak done, you should say denatured. <laughs> is, that, is that good? Is that well, it depends how, you, depends how you okay. like your steak. Uh, okay. I kind of okay. like mine rare. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah. Are we going to? Okay, so I think we're done for today. All right. I, yeah, I think we're done.